What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you the best tweaks of the week. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first tweak we want to talk about is called Banner Buddy. Now what Banner Buddy does is something that I actually complained about back when iOS 8 was released when they introduced Reachability. So you can see that I actually got a notification right here. Now if I pull down Reachability, the notification actually comes down with Reachability, and you can see that it dismissed itself right there. But that's basically what Banner Buddy allows you to do. It brings down that notification with reachability. I just happened to get a notification as I was talking about that. So just really helpful, especially when you're using a device with one hand. Next up, we have a tweet called NC if needed. So basically what this does is allow you to pull down your notification center. And if you have notifications, it's going to bring you directly to your notification tab. If you don't have notifications, then it's going to bring you to your Today tab. So you can see right here, even if I tap on Today and then I swipe this up, since I have notifications, it's going to go directly back to the Notifications tab. Again, if notifications is gone, then it's going to open up to Today tab directly. Next, we have a tweet called Simple CC Media. Now, what this does is make your control center look a little bit different. You can see right here that it doesn't look too great when no music is playing, but once music begins to play, it actually looks pretty nice and looks a little less cluttered. So let's go ahead and go into our music here and let's just play this song right here. And we'll turn that down. And when we go to the control center, you can see that it just looks a little bit nicer right here. It doesn't have all the play, pause, and all those controls. It just has the volume as well as the name of the song, the artist, and the album. Next, we have a tweet called Tinch. Now, what Tinch does is allow you to change the color of your toggles, as you can see right here. It's more of a purple pinkish color right here. And if we actually toggle one of these on, it actually changes color. So you can select what the color is when it's toggled off and then once it's toggled on. Very simple to set up. Obviously, if we just tap on Tinch right here, you can change the color right there for when it's enabled and then when it's disabled right there. Next up, we have a tweak called Widget Weather 2. Now, before I actually get into this tweak, let me tell you that I don't really like the way that this tweak looks or this widget looks. Uh, I think the functionality of it is really awesome, and I think the animations are really nice, but it just doesn't look like iOS 8. It's very rigid looking, and you can see right here that we have basically a Times New Roman font as you can see right there. And you can't change the wallpaper in the background, which is kind of annoying. Uh, it even has like a watermark back here with WW 2.0, which is just, not, this does not look good. But in terms of functionality, it is pretty nice and it has a lot of information, especially when you're trying to check out your weather. So you can see you have the current hourly and daily. So you can see right here that we can scroll through and we have an hourly uh, over there on the left hand side. Again, we have the same thing for current. You can see that it actually is very fluid and has a lot of useful information, but in terms of how it looks, I can't say that I'm a very big fan. I would actually go out and say that I wouldn't use this tweak just because I think it's ugly. But other than that, it's very functional, but hopefully they can clean up the UI a bit in an update. And last but not least, we have a tweak called Bigify Plus. Now, this is the only paid tweak that I put in this week's video. And if you're not familiar with Bigify Plus, then what it allows you to do is change the size of your icons, put borders on your icons, you can put overlays, you can change the skew. Uh, there's a ton of different stuff. We just go into the settings app and then open up the Bigify Plus settings. You can see that we can change the size, color, and border right here. So if we tap on size, you can see that we can make this really big. You can also change the rotation if you want to, just like that, which we're going to put back. You can also change the skew, which uh, maybe someone would want to do that, not something I would do. Let's go back here and you can also change the color. So if we change the color, you just want to apply it and then you can slide this hue and it's going to apply a color to your icons. Of course, you can also invert the icons, which looks a little funky. Uh, we're going to go back all the way over here, not apply this. But you can also toggle on iOS 6 style, which basically gives you a little skew morphism look and makes it look like iOS 6 icons. Right here is where you can change the transparency, as you can see right there. And if we go back, you also have borders. So if you want to apply a border, then you can do so. Anytime I apply a border, it's usually white. So you can see I put a little white border around that. You can also change the alpha so it's a little more uh, blurred rather than just a solid white border. And then right down here you have advanced settings where you can change a custom layer. And we can also change the alpha, you can multiply. So you can change the screen, overlay, darken, lighten, color dodge, all kinds of different stuff as well as textures. 
which I think just all look really bad, as you can see right there. Not one have I found that actually looks decent. Even Gradient looks a little funky if we do that. You can see it just basically darkens the entire thing. So if we go back here, you can also flip the badges so that puts it on the different side, as well as hide icon labels, which I've already done. You can affect the dock, so this is going to affect all the icons in the dock, as well as pinch adjust. So if you pinch on an icon on your springboard, then it's going to resize all the icons to smaller. If you widen or spread out, it's going to make the icons bigger. So that's actually a cool little thing. You don't have to go into the settings in order to uh, mess with this. So let's go back here and see what we've done. You can see that all the icons are massive because I made it the biggest icons that you could possibly make. And if we wanted to change that, then we can just pinch. And you can see that it automatically just resizes just like that. So that's pretty close to what they originally were. Of course, you can make them really small, as you can see right there. Now, we don't have the borders on here. So what you would want to do is respring your device if it didn't actually apply those borders. And then once you do that, then it should go ahead and take effect. So let's go ahead and respring and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so I've resprung my device and you can see that I've made the icons a little bit bigger. And once I resprung, I have those white borders on my icon. So definitely a really cool tweak to check out if you're looking to change the look of your icons. So let me know what you guys think about all these tweaks in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.